and good evening, whichever time zone you're in right now and watching. Welcome to my channel. I am Nelson. You're watching Nature Nell. And if you're new to my channel, you may want to hit that subscribe button because there's a lot of great stuff coming up ahead like this show today, which I've been waiting for a while. I am taking a road trip. As you can see, I'm in my car. I didn't film um, my intro at home before I left because it was really, really early in the morning. It was very dark outside. So I figured I'll do it all the way there. So I'm on my way to Apopka, which is in Florida, right next to Orlando, um, where all the Disney parks are. And Apopka is known for its wonderful um, nurseries. They, um, they've pretty much been the capital of nurseries for a long time. They have all kinds of uh, nurseries, plants, orchids, all kinds of things over there. So one of the nurseries I'm going to, it's called Crawl Smith. And for those of you who um, don't know who Crawl Smith is, they are one of the very top um, orchid nurseries around. And they uh, they do wonderful, wonderful things. I, act, I also believe, I found out uh, not too long ago that they are contracted by the Disney parks. And they, I believe they either do the landscaping or they do, um, they place the orchids. I'm gonna find out today exactly, because <laughs> I've heard that and I really haven't heard it from them. I've heard it from other people. So I'm gonna find out, which I, I think that is so cool. So um, I'm going there, they're having an open house. I'm meeting with Laz and Blanca. Um, who are very good friends of mine. They are big orchid collectors. As a lot of you may know, Blanca has her own channel, Blanca's Orchid Garden. And uh, we're gonna have a great two days. It's Friday, we will be there till Sunday morning, and we'll be driving back for Easter Sunday to be back at home. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you when I get there. Right, guys so we made it well we meaning me and you guys the viewers because <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm flying solo but anyways we're here at crawl smith it is packed there's a lot of people i was going to check in my hotel but they told me that i don't have to check in until after three so i figure why waste time let's just go straight to crawl smith and get this party started <laughs> so i will see you inside laz and blanca already here <laughs> see you inside all right guys so here's the first person i see <laughs> actually hello i thought i was never gonna get here yeah, ladies like it's your phone i'm like what is <laughs> she, she's uh, like your phone rang i said my phone's on silent <laughs> how is it in there oh my god dude, i can't believe the amount of traffic in on a this is laz <laughs> the amount of traffic on a flight i haven't slept this is laz on four hours of sleep i was so excited to get here that i, I was like oh let me just Hop in the car and go. I know. He was he was already on the road at four, right? No, I got up at four and I did everything by five and I was five o'clock on the road. Oh no, I needed some sleep. I figured, you know what, an extra hour. I figured I'll sleep tonight. <laughs> like a baby. I like that they did tents. I mean, yeah, me there's a couple over there. All right, guys, so we came inside and lo and behold, they have what I've been wanting for a very long time, pitcher plants. Check out these beauties. Now, I've had pitcher plants before, but not these types. These are completely, these are more of the ground ones. I've had the ones that hang and they're those black. Oh no! You got it? So anyway. Is that the one you like? <laughs> yeah. It's gorgeous. She's big. We were just getting a little bit of information on them. I mean, we can always ask Julian because I'm not going to remember. <laughs> no. And there's Julian, the man with all the information. And then some. So look at these. And each one is, uh, I think, they're fifty dollars for each. Um, yeah, here's the price. So, if you got $50 you want to like spend on something cool, come to Crawl Smith. 
<laughs> Hello. Finally. Oh, everything. Good. And here are Blanca's candles. Oh, I got a bug on my screen. How was your um, your drive? It was actually pretty awesome. It was yeah. Very, yeah. It was very calm. No heavy traffic. I love the new wildflowers. Oh, this is so cute. The bunny. Yes. Uh, for Easter. Oh, that is so cute. I saw this one on Instagram. I think it was the, yeah. yeah. God, it smells so good here. Oh, I ain't going nowhere. I'm going nowhere. Look at this. We have the table going. Let's get it. Oh, we can put our stuff here. All right. Because <laughs> I gave it. I give it. I give my. Oh, I see. Okay, so we're gonna be putting our things there. Yay! <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Look, I'm wearing green. Oh my God, you are! Keep it green. Um, not. And what color are you wearing? Black and white. Black is a new green. I'll make it. I'll come out green in no time. <laughs> You'll be spending a lot of green. Oh, yeah. Let me see. What's it called? It bicolor. Bubble film bicolor. No, the bicolor doesn't unless oh, it's with Bob Mackerel. Oh, okay. The, the bicolor is, is different. Oh my god. Look. Yeah, but I like that mine just blows. I got it. So oh, the one that has. Wow, look at those filling out over there, how beautiful. Everything is so pretty. I was thinking of getting a couple of these Zamponenzis. Gorgeous. I, no, I, I grabbed one of these. I'm, I'm, I'm gravitating a lot to... Their so favorite plants are the Husky 50. Oh, this one. Look at that. I love that. So look. So I don't know. He says no, it's a different name all the time. I really like this one. <laughs> what is this called? All right, guys. Hold on. I am looking for tags. I don't believe that this has no tag. Nope. Nope. Oh, yeah. Here it is. All right, I'm going to take this one. I think this is the Florida Rainbow. It looks like it. But it, it's not what it, it says on the name. tag. Yeah, you see? I'm going to put this over because I don't want it to slip off my hand. Is the only one there? I don't know what's with me in yellow lately. I'm, I'm trying to get more fouls for my mouth. There we go. All right, so we're in one of the hangars where they have all the fouls. There goes Blanca. She's still trying to figure out what she wants to take. And as you can see, there's lots and lots of blooms this spring. There we go. Look at this. These are gorgeous. I'm not doing a lot of talking. I wanted to show you guys the flowers. I got this one at home. It's one of my favorites. I just put on a mount and they smell so good. It's one of the most fragrant of the flowers. These are gorgeous. These are the rainbow. They call it Florida rainbow. 
This is the, the hybrid. And um, it has a... I, I was telling Laz, it reminds me of Fruity Pebbles. You know, the cereal? It has, or Fruit Loops. It has that, that, um, that type of fruity fragrance. And then back here, they have uh, the Chili Rihanna mix hybrids, which I've been... They're gorgeous. And this has no tag. I can get the adjacent one. It's really pretty. Look at these guys. And they all come out different. Some come out with yellow, some come out with pink. Some come out with freckles, like those over there. I'll tell you, this place is really hopping, this open house. Last one wasn't so, um, well, the last one I came to. They've had many after that, but the last one I came to was pretty, um, pretty empty because it was raining a lot. It was really cold and nobody wanted to leave their homes. <laughs> they just want to stay indoors. This Grammatophyllum, I got to tell you, let me see. No, this doesn't have any fragrance. They have um, uh, one here that is a, a cross and it is so, so pungent. I was like, what smells like on this? Oh, that Grammatophyllum cross. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, look how pretty, guys. I've been wanting to get one of these. These are the mini fowls for the actual um, mounts that was sent to me. This is actually gorgeous. Has no price. But I love these for mounting. They make great, great orchids uh, for mounting on on beautiful mounts that, like the mounts I received from the orchid supply store. Which, by the way, it's making my shopping today a lot of fun because I keep shopping, thinking of what I'm gonna mount. <laughs> so pretty much everything I'm shopping for, I'm mounting. Look at this! This is such a beautiful catlea. You guys, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I do have one of these in my collection. And this is Carl Smith's Pride and Joy. This is their own cross. And it won several awards. And it just, oh my God, this fragrance is just, if you guys are Carl Smith, make sure you take one of these. This is like one of their signature cat layers here. All right, guys, so we decided to stop here for a little food break. They have some trucks out here. They have ice cream. Um, this Bonu Appetito, I think it's called, oh, I'm trying to remember the name, I can't see it. Well, anyway, they have really good pizza. You know those personal pizzas? So we decided we're all gonna get pizza. And they have the seating area right there under the trees. It's really, really nice out here. The weather is amazing today. I mean, it's really redeeming itself from the last time I was here. It looked nothing like this. It was gray, dark, rainy, and cold. In the 40s, I think it was. But now it's sunny, warm, breezy, which is nice. And above all, it's Easter weekend. It's an awesome, awesome weekend. All right, guys, we're gonna enter the gym nursery. By the way, all these nurseries are named after... Hey, Laz. Hi, I'm <laughs> hiding over here. Do you know why they name them different uh, people's name? Is it like the family name or... Crystal? No, 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 the nurseries are all... I'm not sure. This one's I called Jim. Maybe, maybe it could be. All right. Are the names on the, the tents, are they named after family members? No, they're named after anybody influential. Oh. Anybody okay. important in his life, he's named a greenhouse. Okay. So oh, yeah, okay. Jim, Jim is actually right there. This is Jim. 
That's and Jim. And then he goes down and there's a service there. Okay. But they all pretty much employees that worked for him for years and years. Oh, and years. oh that is awesome. All right, so you heard Thank that, you. guys. Each nursery is named after an influential staff member. And so all the nurseries are named after a staff member. I think that is so awesome. Uh, Frank um, Smith is the one who named the nurseries. So that goes to show you, this is one big family. Look at this, oh my God, really? Let's have a moment of silence. <laughs> It's, does it smell? Slightly. Slightly. Uh, very light fragrance. Oh, there's a few. Oh, wow. This one's even darker. So these are like hybrid grammatophyllums? Because it, I don't know, it looks more saturated than a regular. Look at this antler dendrobium. I know a lot of you guys have been telling me you love these dendrobiums. So do I. And so does Joshua Jones from the Orchid Dead. <laughs> Nothing that he loves these. Uh, oh, yeah. He does. I was like, wait, this named after Is him. he here? Yeah. <laughs> it's a nursery named after him. Okay, now we're going to go. Oh, wait. Hoyas. Oh, yes. Hoyas. Oh, yes. Who's this? North who? North. Their thing is. North Georgia Hoya. There we go, guys. Ooh, starting to rain. Let's look at the Hoyas. I love these big leaf Hoyas. Oh my god. 300, 300 kinds of Hoyas. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. It's been a while. Oh, yeah. you, you switched off from lavender? It does. Oh, mine are still lavender. Oh, okay, okay. These are the ones that Stuart's selling. I see. I, I, see. I, I, see. I, I remember that one detail. <laughs> uh, this is yeah. the one that I was selling. Oh, yeah. Beautiful stuff. Uh, so we have that? Did you see this, Laz? Cactus in, in red? How pretty? It's probably got more light, no? That's why in the end, that's what it does um, when, it gets, when the light uh, hits it. Yeah. I love that's it. The only plant I have. Isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful. So if you put it indoors, it'll go back to green. Mm -hmm. mm. If it doesn't get enough light, it turns green. How's the flower on that? Is, you see where this is very good. Yeah. It's got the oh, yeah. Oops, excuse me. It's okay. Yeah, I'll get, let, me, let me pull the plant out. The flower. It's gorgeous. This is awesome. Look at this. Did you see this? Look at me. Oh, that is so pretty. I sold the color. I'm sorry. I want to see what it smells like. Hmm. No fragrance. I love Hoya. Oh, yeah, it's so pretty. Is that the one so, they call Lenny Ari or Lenny? You know, I've got a picture of the app. It's prettier than that. Oh, but that oh, is pretty. Oh, and they smell sweet. Well, like, is. Is it, that doesn't smell like a little like butterscotch, does it? No, that's... There's one uh, that's... It's, that's huge. That's his, yeah, that's I was like... Yeah. Orange, red, amazing. red, yellow, they're so <coughs> I like eating the time, so I know exactly. <laughs> it, it's almost like the markers. Thank you, the chair. So, no, I saw it there. I was like, maybe it's a so Laz got his first Queen of the Night pink and white. <laughs> That's a beautiful size. <laughs> Happy dance. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful with the sky. <laughs> and here we're entering James. They have a lot of goodies. Here we have a lot of patio petals. For oh, look at this! It's so pretty. Look at that, guys. And I love when they put the name there with the flower. Easy peasy. 
$45. Look at the colors on this. I'm sure the colors have gotten a little faded. That's why um, they look so fluorescent. And this is that paradise. Nice talking to you. Till next time, thanks for recovering my dog. I need to acclimate a little bit because I'm going a little cray cray. Let's just go in this little jungle here. I don't know who this is, but I like it. I like it a lot. This is Equahenera, I can tell already by the packaging. They're very organized. You have these gorgeous long leaf i think they're philodendrons am i saying i'm not an expert in these but i love them and they get really big but i'm afraid of them <laughs> i'm afraid to spend a lot of money and not successfully grow it look how beautiful this is this is gorgeous what is this Philodendron, Verucosum, Amazonas. This is beautiful. Oh my God, what a beautiful. How much is this? 55. I love these, these veins, these patterns that glow right off the green leaf. Just like these, the black velvet. I don't know if this is a black, it looks very much like it, I'm sure if it's, if it's that. And then of course, Equahenera is known for the way that they package. The orchids are very well protected. See, I'm not one, I'm gonna be honest, I don't have the patience to go through all these. Laz does, and that's why he always finds like really cool stuff because he'll go through every single one. Not me. <laughs> I just don't have that kind of patience when I'm looking for orchids to shop. Or when I'm shopping for orchids. Now these orange ones, they're everywhere and they've been going like crazy. A lot of people were um, taking these. Look how beautiful that is. And these are, give you that. There are species, but I don't know the name. It's a Vanda. Gotta you. Gotta you. Pretty pretty. Maybe I'll take one. And they're really pretty. Look at that. Now we're going to Stewart. Now, I don't think there's anything here for sale, but I believe this is where Frank keeps his personal collection, well, some of his personal collections. Check this beautiful, beautiful display of orchids. Look at that. Is that not absolutely stunning i'll tell you when i come here i get so inspired on collecting and how i'm gonna display my orchids because they just i mean where are you gonna see this where are you gonna see something so massive like this in a nursery unless you're out in the wild sorry frank don't kill me i'm going in here <laughs> This is a no trespass zone, but he knows I'm very careful. I just want to show this because it's just a shame not to show this in its full glory. Last time I was here, this um, Renanthera was not blooming at all. It was just the big specimen without the flowers. And Hayden, who also works here, he told me, you got to see it now. It's in full bloom. He goes, when you go, you're going to see it in full bloom. And I am so excited to get to see it. I mean, look at that. Imagine having this in your garden. Now, I think I have the red dragon. I don't know if this is the red dragon. It looks very similar. The red dragon tends to be a little bit uh, more saturated in the red. Um, at least the one I have at my home, it's almost like a tomato red. But who cares? This thing is like, it's a showpiece. And I believe it's gotten uh, several awards. Hayden was telling me it won some like big award. So, but look at these beautiful, beautiful vandals. 
these are like the pick of the litter. Frank Smith always picks the top ones. Paxorn fragrance. They do a lot of hybrids with the Paxorn fragrance. I have one of them, it's purple. It's really pretty. So let me go right through here. <laughs> Oh my God, let me, let me try to, there we go. I was trying to get a good look at that. What a gorgeous, gorgeous flower. This is so clean and so yellow. So guys, when you go to the shows, right? And you see, let's say something like this, all right, and you get it, if you treat it with proper care, you feed it a lot, you will end up with this in a couple of years. I would say like in a good eight years, 10 years maybe, you'll get a nice specimen. If you don't want to wait that long, then you can cheat like I do. And then I buy like five or six of these <laughs> and I put them together and it kind of kickstarts a specimen. So it starts getting bigger and bigger. But that's an easy way of doing it. Now this, I love this. this is a De Desoniana, I believe it's the name. Hold on. No fragrance. Let's see. Do you have a tag? No, no tag. But I think that's a Desoniana. Now there's a yellow one. I can't remember the name. It's on my wish list. That I want to take that home with me today. <laughs> it's a $200 orchid. It is absolutely beautiful. And I heard they're in spike, so I may just end up taking that. And as you can see, the staff here is always friendly. They're always helping out clients and they love to just chat and fill you with great information on orchid education. <laughs> Look how pretty this looks. See, that's a bunch of mounted ones. Let me see how much these cost. It's called Vanda Lada Gold. They have no price. They're probably like $35, $45. So if you get like a good five or six of these and put them together, you have a specimen. I just love looking at this. Let me tell you, Crossmith, you guys never disappoint. There's three feet of the post. She's sleepy. <laughs> She's a sweetheart. She always takes care of us. All right. <laughs> I, I'm buying and videotaping at the same time. Hello, Chris. <laughs> And here we have Ophis, which has, okay. I know what you guys are gonna say before I even start. Let me give you a disclaimer, okay? I have plenty of wood mounts. I am more, I have more than enough to work with, but I gotta tell you, the cork mounts, these cork mounts, I am obsessed with, hold on, let me see. Oh, come here, come here, come here. And I have a specific orchid that I want to put it in one of these cork mounts because I. this is what I like about them. I like the surface. Do you see how rough that is? Oh, it just looks like a chunk of tree. And so when an orchid grows off of that, it just looks like it's growing off a chunk of tree. And they're so, look how light they are. They're so easy to work on. And so um, I know that I got a bunch from the orchid supply store that are wood and I love them and I can't, I've been buying a lot today, by the way. Wait until you guys see what I'm, I'm taking as my haul. This is the haul of all hauls. <laughs> but, uh, cause they really have a lot of great stuff at the show. Um, I want one of these corks for this specific one that I have because it looks like it, it should be like on a tree bark. I mean, look at these, they're, they're almost like cylindrical. Look at the size of that. I mean, it's beautiful. You can hang that. Let's see it. Fill the screen. So if you guys are at the shows, I'm going to tell you, Ophi's always has the best corks. I mean, he, and they're always so well-priced. And the sizes are amazing. Because you usually find the little corks. 
Now these, I know you guys have seen these before. I love these. I may take, you know what? Five ring display hangers, 20 bucks. I may take one <sighs> because they hold so many pots. And since it's going upwards, you save a lot on space. So if you have a small space or you live in an apartment, get a hook on your ceiling, put a little chain from the hook down and you hang one of these in the corner of your apartment and it will look so fancy and so sophisticated. I mean, it really decorates nicely. I have it in my greenhouse, but I've been thinking about actually getting one and putting it in my salon and just filling it with pots with pothos. I think it would be beautiful. And then they have, of course, all their clay pots, which these are the best. When you have these airy pots, oh my God, you have Cattleya's guys, these are the better pots, the open ones. Don't put them in, in closed pots. They do get root rot and they're not happy. And then here we have all the goodies, what makes your orchids bloom. As I told you guys, if you want to see, if you have orchids on your trees, put this on them. Put this on him uh put him on a time release um cup that he sells let me see if he has them here here we go this is what it looks like talking about the little cups no <laughs> so these little cups i bought a bunch of them and you fill them they're super easy you fill them with the beads and then you just basically wherever you're oh, just repeating me <laughs> wherever you have the orchid you put it like right above you don't want to put it like too close to the, to the roots because sometimes it can get a root burn but i put it come kind of high in and let when it rains all that water will drip into the roots and this stuff i don't know what it is about it it just makes everything grow so beautiful and you bloom profusely like this year i have so many blooms and it's thanks i gotta tell you it has to be this because that's the only different thing that I did this year. I stopped feeding him 20, 20, 20, the ones on my trees. It's a lot of hassle for me. So by doing this, it kind of took care of this. Let's go back. And then, of course, these, which I may get one of these too, because I'm tired of using my, tired of using my, um, my pump. They also sell the pump here. But Blanca has been using that and I'll tell you this is saves a lot more um, time because it works with the hose and you just put the amount let's say this one holds let me see it should say in gallons this is 48 ounces hmm. I like when it says the gallons because it's easier for me so this one holds six gallons right so you take the measurements I usually use 20 20 20 I do half a teaspoon per gallon so you know that if it's six gallons and you multiply it and you have three teaspoons per six gallons so I think that's the correct math I'm daring to do math <laughs> I'm not a mathematician anyways when you guys are in these shows check out Ophi's because they have really really great stuff that makes all your orchid keeping super easy and they have a knowledge unlike a lot of people they don't just sell the supplies if there's anything you need to know about how to maintain an orchid or how to feed it or what's the best time to do it or the season they are your people they are your people definitely you know when you shop at Ophi's or you order online you can ask them anything and they would be more than happy to help you guys because they are like a I always tell Chris he's a book of orchid knowledge <laughs> There's nothing I've asked him he doesn't know as far as keeping and fertilizing and feeding them. And I'll tell you, he, him and Carlos, um, they pretty much saved my collection because they've called me sometimes and said, listen, you know, there's going to be a cold front. You want to do this, you want to do that. And lo and behold, they have saved. So I really, really, really believe in them and trust them very much. All right. Seems like everything has calmed down. I actually like it like this. Because now we have the whole place to ourselves. <laughs> Look at this. I love these. Who are you, little girl? Oh my goodness, your tag is so dry. You break in half. This happens a lot when you have a nursery because of all the wear and tear, the water and feeding and stuff. It just beats the, 
Elaine Taylor. What a pretty name. You know what? You look like an Elaine Taylor. You look like a sophisticated little de debutante. <laughs> All right, let's go outside. So I'm going to bring you to the table where we are putting all our stuff in here, but I'm not going to tell you which is mine. <laughs> I'm just going to show you everything that's in here so you can see how beautiful. Oh, I got to go under here. Oh, there's a no-fly zone. <laughs> hold on, I'll show you now. I have a little tag here. So this is Blanca, Laz, and I collectively. So now you can see all the things we got here, but I am not going to tell you guys what I'm taking. There's more here that are gorgeous. So you guys can see we, we're doing some damage, <laughs> but we've been really good about it. Here's another area that they have blocked off, but I want to show you the colors on these fowls. Look at the, the display of colors in here. I mean, guys, if you, on the other side, you guys watching this, I got to tell you that when you're here, it is so stimulating visually, like it, it really takes your attention continuously away from one thing to the next because like, I'll see this, right? Like this caught my attention, it's so tiny and so beautiful. But then I'll look right over here and I see these beautiful rainbow color ones. Like it's just, your, it's really overwhelming when you come to Crawl Smith. And what's really cool about coming to Crawl Smith is every season is different. So every time you come, whatever season you come in, you're gonna see something different. Like, check this out. Tell me if this is not like the most spectacular. Come here, boo-boo. Look at that beauty. Is that not like a spectacular, spe and look at all the cakeys. Okay, I'm gonna ask Julian what the name of this is because it has no tag. And I really wanna know what this is. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here. I wanna show you guys how beautiful this is. Look at that. Look at that orchid. I'm telling you, this season, the fowls are just ridiculous. <laughs> I am in awe, guys, with the amount of, of the variety that they have. I didn't know they had this many varieties here. I mean, that little pink when the Amboinensis. So let me ask Julian what the name of this is, and I will be back. All right, guys, so Today's day two. I decided to do more of a one video and continue. So from this point forward is day two, it's Saturday. And as you can see, I have sleepy eyes. We were up last night pretty late and went to eat Mexican food, which was amazing at this new place called Garibaldi's. And I had a couple of martinis, which were delicious. <laughs> so I'm surprised we're here top of the morning. There's no one here yet, as you can see. The background Blanca is setting up. Uh, I'm actually just walking around looking at things um, before it starts getting crazy. They're about to open in about, I'd say, an hour or so. And so they're expected to be even crazier than yesterday. So um, I'm laughing because they are, they're talking about last night, <laughs> that how they did make it up this morning. <laughs> so anyways, guys, we will continue on. Um, with our excursion. Say hi, Blanca. She's so busy, look at her. <laughs> this is day two. This is day two. We're so ready. I was telling them about last night. What are we doing? Mexican restaurant. Oh. And <laughs> <laughs> He's ready for work. Where? I'm telling you. Go. Go work, go work. <laughs> You guys left me alone. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> oh, I'm walking away from you guys. <laughs> I was like, where's Nelson? We were talking with Bredrin all this time. Well, this is where I was going and I got sidetracked. Yeah, why? What'd you see? <laughs> no, I was talking orchid nerding out with the the lady who got all the candles from you that works behind the counter. 
Oh yeah, yeah. She's We're nice. nerding out with orchids and things like that. Oh man, do you see anybody in the comments? Becker's like he has a couple of strings there. Oh, the variegated string hearts, string of hearts. That's, I wonder how much that's going for. Twenty-eight. 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 Not at all. And she's got the mini, the mini one, the turtle. I think those are called turtle. Is it? Is it snow? So guys, second day and look how packed this is. I love to see when this is happening. Hold on, let me get a full view so you guys can take a look. <laughs> All the early shoppers. <laughs> what did you bring you? I know you stocked up. <laughs> oh, I don't have any more of the giant No Cuban oh, stuff? Arrangement stuff, no. Well, you tell your husband <laughs> that I have a message for him. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Are you filming? <laughs> yes, I am. Because <laughs> I want this to go public. <laughs> oh, big time. Oh, I want my Cuban orchids. <laughs> Down, down south, so. Is he South Flamingo? Yeah. Mm. That's what happens. Too many orchid shows and only... What? what are... <laughs> Stop it. There he is. There he is. I'm filming you. You're filming me, filming you. So, that's a... Uh, oh, I love these. Oh, that's beautiful. I have so many fowls that I have to put some back. I went a little foul crazy. <laughs> That's an easy thing to do. Yeah, the thing is I'm you putting everything on mouse. Yeah, well, I do enough gifting. <laughs> I gift a lot for me. <laughs> oh my goodness. How you doing? How adorable you are. What's your name? His name is Stormy. Dorney, you're adorable. Yeah. <laughs> so beautiful. Look at this little baby. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at these Hoyas. They're so beautiful. Look how big this leaf is. And look, already has a peduncle. <sighs> oh, this is really nice. Look at this, guys. What is this? Who are you? Uh, Sanders. Uh, I don't know exactly what that is, but I love the mountain. It's so pretty. It's super adorable. And look at this one. This one is I love these little tiny ones. Look how, how small that is. And by the way, this is, I believe, is this? Oh, no, this is SVO, Sunset Valley Orchids. So if you guys want to see anything here, you can reach them out at that address. You know, I really like this. This has such an amazing smell. And he, they sell them here for 25 I think he told me they're already in blooming size. So you can get a blooming size like this for 25. <laughs> oh, the colors. These colors are just so magnificent. It's called Little Magician. You know, I'm really enjoying the fact that they have tags and, and photographs because it makes it easier for me to describe the plant or ID the, the plant. Let's go next door. Look at all these. I did not see these. How oh, beautiful. But you know, I decided to do only orchids in this um, this trip because I got so many mounts that I really want to make sure that I fill those mounts with good orchids. <sighs> Look at these Schimberkias. You know, a viewer of mine told me that I should make shirts because I sometimes say things that are funny 
on my on my channel that are funny quotes and some of my viewers are like oh you should make those into t-shirts so this viewer told me <laughs> because i said i still call it shemberkia because uh, now they're called murmur murmur cat leia murmur cat something murmur something i can never remember so i'm gonna make t-shirts that say i still call it shemberkia <laughs> I thought that was the funniest comment. <laughs> I can't remember who left it, but she was, when I read it, I was like, oh, wow, that's clever. <laughs> Little Nopsis. Parishii. I have this one. It's gotten really big, actually. It's not focusing. It's too small. Sorry. I saw this from far away. Actually, Lazaro saw it. And I cannot believe the size of these dendrobiums. Check this out how tall they are and they're full of seed pods look at this how gorgeous is this dendrobium like i can tell you right now this is probably one of frank smith like collectors because this is stunning now i believe that these dendrobiums they, Julian was telling me they grow, they usually grow in mountain air, mountainous areas close to water. And then according to the levitation, I think it is, the colors do change. I think that's what he told me, but I want you to see how beautiful. I wish I can get better lighting. The thing is a reflective light on top is kind of destroying the, the detail. But at least I can get you this, because it's down here. And I don't see, oh, wait a minute. Oh, they're gonna kill me <laughs> for doing this. The things I do for you guys, I could be getting in very serious trouble right now. <laughs> Sorry, Frank, I don't mean to do this. But my viewers love to see the names. It's a Dendrobium lysanthra crawls summer sunset. Oh, so it's their own hybrid. Nice. It is gorgeous. Well, at least I got you the name because it's just, if I would have left without this name, I would have been like, I should have tried to pass. Let me see if I can get the ones on top. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm so glad I captured this for you guys because it's not easy to find dendrobiums this big. Oh my God, look at this. What are you? Who are you? Hold on. Oh, that smells really good. Let me see if I can see a tag. No tag, guys. I'm sorry. See, this is what happens. They do put the tags, <laughs> but they kind of, the tag gets eaten by the roots. So I'm sure the tag is probably somewhere in there. Let me see if this one has it. No tag. Mm, what a shame. If this is the same one, let me see. It's a, oh my God, this is gonna be difficult. Oh wait, here we go. Here we go, guys. Renanthera Gigantia Fantasy Color Big. It is so pretty. Like I would totally own one of these. Oh my God. Okay, I didn't see this. Let me see has no name <laughs> no name but look at this look at this orchid how beautiful i want to be very gentle with this look at this beauty but you know what really impresses me as you go higher the flowers change color so this is all one shoot How beautiful. Very, very awesome orchid. I'm gonna ask Julian what this is. He's the dictionary guy, so the orchid dictionary man. <laughs> so I'm sure he knows what that is. Oh, look at this, look at this. Wow. These are like some type of hybridized right Rick and stylus or something because the, the leaves are very Rick and stylus. Come on, focus. 
not that small. <laughs> so and look at all the buds, how beautiful. Even, even the buds are beautiful with that red. I gotta tell you, I feel so blessed and privileged that, you know, I'm able to come to Crawl Smith and show you guys all their collections and things like this because it's, you know, some people get jaded and they're around so many orchids, but they don't think about, you know, how privileged one could, is to be around so much beauty. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to cross a little. See, these are the no crossing bands for the public. <clears throat> but um, we, we were given permission as long as we're not taking things to try to buy them. <laughs> Besides, they know what's for sale and what's not. Ooh, we got a full house. I'd love to see this. Yes, everybody's shopping. All right. That was crowded. And look at Ophi's. Ophi's, Ophi's has a line. <laughs> Oh, he's always, there's Chris. He's just checking out the scene. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get some mounts. Actually, I'm gonna get one, a tiny one for this little tiny thing. And I won't tell you what that is until my haul, but it's something I've been after for a very long time. Oh, they're doing the judging. Hold on. Ah, oh, they're judging. So this is where they're judging. Hi. This is where, hi. Let's see what they're judging. Look at this. Oh my God. They're so beautiful. I'm like hypnotized. <laughs> Wow. So beautiful. And there's Mr. Frank Smith. The man with the magic hands. He takes orchids and just, it's incredible what he does with them. Hi. I didn't know this was a show. It's not a show. This is where um, everything's the, getting awarded. Awarded, judging. right. Yeah. The judging, that's what I meant. I'm sorry. I kept... And who's judging you? <laughs> Oh <laughs> Frank, Frank. <laughs> I love this when I saw this yesterday oh my god beautiful I saw this one and this one yesterday in the Amanda house and it was yeah, so pretty stunning. yeah this one like the red I want a cutting I'll probably pay like 500 for a cutting <laughs> so rare right, guys so this is where they're doing the judging where Oh, I saw that. Yeah. No, look at this. Isn't this what they call the green something? <sighs> the green something? Mine didn't do well. This one that I have didn't do well. You got it from Brethren? Yes, I got it from Brethren. Yeah, that is from Brethren. That's the, yeah. um, I don't know what, why it... It looks complicated, intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> intimidating. <laughs> intimidating orchids. Yeah. You guys are not hungry. I am hard hungry. You wanna you wanna go eat? Yeah, let's go lunch. All right, let's close oh, this. I know you Oh wow, goodness. look how beautiful. These epidendrums are really taking off right now and I love the center. It looks like a bird flying. So beautiful. Look at this. And guys, I'm sorry I cannot get you the names because we're not allowed to touch these. These are all for judging. So I'm not going to be crossing that line. <laughs> Look at these. How oh, beautiful. <laughs> You're not in the way. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> My God, the colors are so stimulating. Oh, just beautiful. It's a really, really beautiful table. All right, let me go get my little piece of cork. 
All right, guys, I'm going to say this very low because they are in the middle of judging. So this is where they, these are all the experts that uh, get together for judging uh, certain species or hybrids. And right now they're actually all checking out the orchids. This is very cool. I've never seen a judging, so this is basically what they do. And so what they do is they judge these orchids. They look at everything about them. And from that point forward, whatever gets a high award or high recognition, that orchid then goes way up in value and in category. So there you go. Oh, there's another little cutie. Hey, little cutie. We are actually at another nursery. We just stopped here because it's cat, uh, catty corner to Carl Smith. And this is one of the nurseries that I have been dying to come visit only because they have some of the rarest orchids you can find. Their company's called Equa Genera. I'm sure you guys have heard me speak about them. And I am bringing you into their nurseries. They have many nurseries, but it's my first time here. So it'll be first time for both of us let's see what they have oh and by the way they specialize in a lot of aeroids look at this I have one word for this place green <laughs> Man, they keep it really green. It is so beautiful. She wasn't lying to me, one of the girls that works for them. She was like, oh, if you go to the nursery, you'll see how luscious and green everything is there. And nothing like the shows. When they go to the shows, they only take a few things. Oh, it's so beautiful. Some of their orchids are so rare. I love their mini orchids. They have plenty of small species that are super hard to find and I've been slowly collecting from them see like I mean you look at all these these are seedlings you never know what jewels you may find in there all you have to do is just have the patience to stop and look oh god it's so beautiful look at that look at these variegated um, I think they call these Mickey Mouse ears or stingray, uh, philodendron, uh, phil not no, phil <laughs> philonopsis, philodendron. Move back to philonopsis. All righty, let's get out of here. I'm looking for orchids. What are you looking at? Are those Satan Fidenias yeah, or Trichocentrums? They're probably tri Trichocentrum because the root is up here. Oh, look at this, guys. Oh, my God. I wish the lighting would be better. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to get a, this in focus. You know, me and my challenges. There we go. I really want you guys to see this. Oh, no. Look, show it to the camera. Oh, that is so cool. Let me see the color on the center. Pepin. It's pepper. What's it called? I, it doesn't have a name. Bubba Phylum something? Yeah, look. Burbufulum. There's one here that's about to open. Oh, they're putidum. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Hold on. What are you calling a putidum? Putidum. That one, has, that one's. It has one? One flower is about to open. Look at those yellow ones. Oh my god, I love Look, look it. <laughs> so much green. Oh, these are so delicate. Look at the color on this. These are called something Gigi. Hold on. I'm a little familiar with these. Look at that, how pretty. 
is almost on her way out. Here we go. Catlea Maxima Corulia Gigi crossed with Angelo. I knew there was a Gigi in there somewhere. Look at that, how pretty. And the color is just so delicate and silky. Let me see. And it smells delicious. <laughs> I love these Catleas. Look at these white ones. How beautiful. And it has this really long uh, petal in the middle. Let me see what these are called. These are, I have never seen these. Look at that. All right, there we go, guys. I'm sorry, I had a little technical difficulties. And that is the actual cat Leia. It's beautiful. Now the name, unfortunately, is not in here. So, but is a beauty. Oh, she does not want to stay. She's like having a, come here, beautiful. You cannot, I guess that's just the way she sits. You know, I'm always trying to save orchids so they sit upright and sometimes they just grow that way in the nurseries. This one's red. The upper of the autumn is this. That's the one that we have that no, it smells not. really, really. I have several, but it's not abbreviatum. Abbreviatum is the one that smells funky that you even said it smells really bad. It is? Yes, it's a beautiful flower, but. I thought that was. Um... Oh, I love these. You got to take one of these home. Yeah, right? Yeah. I wonder if they have fragrance. They do. It's, it smells like smoked bacon or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it smells like to me. Oh. What is that smell? Crispy bacon. Crispy bacon. <laughs> Doesn't it smell? I don't know. It smells weird. Now, what is this called? Tri a Catlea tricolor. Catlea tricolor. Or Irie color. Or it's missing the T. Is that Irie color? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Eerie color. Eerie color. I thought it was tricolor. So you got one with a bunch of blooms ready to bust open. So this is what it looks. They're really beautiful. And guys, this is Equa Genera. You see, that's their logo. And that's, um, if you guys want to reach out to them, they do have online. Um, you can reach them out on IG, Instagram. That's usually how I send them pro uh, DMs and they respond right away. They're very good about it. And uh, if you see anything on their website, send them a message ask them if they still have it and if they don't they will even ship it from i think they ship a lot of these uh, orchids from ecuador but in their website you're probably going to be better off because you'll see the actual flower what they have here is a lot that's not in bloom so you kind of have to like go through a lot of these it's not like see we got spoiled with crawl smith because when you go to crawl smith it's pretty much everything is in bloom but most nurseries it, they're actually like this you know you they take all the things that are in bloom and take them to shows what is this wow that's a weird name yeah sanguino punctuatum we have to look at the picture you want to look at the picture all right shutting off looking on the internet bye bye all right guys so i just left the tent at aquagenera aquagenera actually right in front of their van let me see a very cool van <laughs> so if you guys see that is their um website so if you guys want to check them out i highly suggest you do because there is some beautiful stuff online i'm sorry i put my finger in the lens can never get used to that <laughs> Anyways, guys, this has been the weekend of all weekends. I got to tell I sat on my glasses and they kind of look twisted. <laughs> Maybe I'm the one who's twisted. Anyway, I just want to tell you guys, I want to thank you for all the hellos, all the inspirational messages you guys give me out in the shows. I met so many of my viewers. This weekend has been super special. It was bonus upon bonus upon bonus. I just have to say that the haul that's coming up, you don't want to miss that haul at all. I'm actually going to make that a slogan. Don't miss the haul at all. 
because it's the hall of all halls. They had so many things at Carl Smith. And since we didn't go to many other nurseries, we kind of focused all our budget at Carl Smith. So we got some really, really beautiful, beautiful orchids, some great plants, other things that are not orchids, Hoyas. So I can't wait to share it with all you guys. And I gotta tell you that so many of you bought such beautiful, beautiful orchids at the show and you shared it with me. So thank you so much for, for letting me be part of your world as well, because you know, you're always seeing me, but I never get to see you guys. I see someone walking towards me <laughs> and he has a bag. <laughs> I'm saying goodbye to my people for Look this at the weekend. Bus, how pretty. I know that's why I want to get in front of the bus. And we finally made it in person. Oh, wait, hold on. We finally made it in person to Ecuador. Yeah, what do you got? You got a lot of goodies. I got a couple of cool things, but we're gonna save it for my haul. Yes, we're doing a haul at his house, and we're doing a haul in my house. So it's gonna be great. I wish Blanca was here, but I have to. I have almost one percent battery, so we're gonna say goodbye. So thank you guys for uh, coming up to us, greeting us, giving us great information about your own orchids and really inspirational. I heard over and over and over again, you guys love the long videos, so guess what? You're gonna get a long video. You're gonna get a long video. <laughs> so anyways, thank you for sticking by. I am Nelson. Laz. Blanca is on the same side, so. And remember? You're wearing black. <laughs> <laughs> And remember to always, always keep it green. <laughs> See you in the next episode. <laughs>